name is Oliver Tate. I suppose it's a bit of an affectation, but sometimes I wish there was a film crew following my every move. I don't quite know what I am yet. I've tried flipping coins, listening exclusively to French crooners. I've even had a brief ad phase, but nothing stuck. My parents have not had sex for seven months. I've been monitoring their intimacy via the dimmer switch in their bedroom. Jordana Bevan's moderately unpopular, which makes a romance between the two of us more likely. Meet me under the bridge after school and we'll take you from there. Now kneel down, close your eyes. Wow, you look mentally retarded. What are you going to do with the photos? What are you complaining about? Is this conclusive proof they might not be gay? I asked if she was my girlfriend now. She said... I'll think about it. But what she meant was, yes, we are now as one. And my parents are going to the cinema on Thursday. The house is empty on Thursday evening. Are you asking me to come around and have sex with you? If I say yes, is that less than the chance of you wanting to? To us, and a wonderful evening of lovemaking. You're a serial killer. I wish I could hand in this excuse now. Please may Oliver be excused from class. His tiny heart is broken. It's a big love letter. I've got a big heart. Dear Jordana, you're the only person I would allow to be shrunk down to a microscopic size and swim inside me in a tiny submersible machine. You're too good for me. You're too good for anyone. Sincerely, Oliver. I was crying earlier. My eyes are probably red. They look fine. Well, maybe they don't go red when I cry then. I heard the news that you